Hey, do you know what time it is? Oh, that's right. It's plastic surgery time. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready and you know it, don't be afraid to show it. If you're ready and you know it, clap your hands. Okay, so today we're gonna do a fun video, donning and doffing of PPE. So I'm gonna show you how to get on gloves, how to take off gloves, get on a mask, take off a mask. Here we have your standard surgical mask with the ear loops. This has, if you feel for it, a metal type of device in the nose area. Usually, for most of these masks, the blue should be facing out and the metal should be up. So you're gonna place this around each ear. They're gonna take the metal part above your nose the lower portion, extend the accordion below your chin, and you're going to pinch this. It's important that you get a good fitting along your face. If you don't have a good fitting along your face, this isn't going to be worth it. So this is how you're going to get the mask on. Now, getting the mask off, you got to remember, you don't want to contaminate. So, you can make sure you have some and sanitizer. So when you get home, you've done your grocery shopping, you've been out, whatever, you're gonna to go to your bottle of hand sanitizer, put some on your hands. You're then gonna slip one of your fingers behind your ear and you're gonna pull this off. And then you're gonna put it down. Now whether that goes in the garbage or it gets reused, that's up to you. Before you touch anything else, you're going back to this bottle of hand sanitizer and handing it again. Now, don't get a towel and rub your hands off after the hand sanitizer. Just let it air dry. The alcohol is also what helps kill. When you're using the hand sanitizer, make sure you're getting around your fingers, in between, and sometimes up underneath those nails if you really want to get crazy about it. All right, this is my beat up N95. Outside has been cleaned, so that's why I'm handling the outside right now. If you've cleaned it and this is the first time you're putting it on, like you're to go out to the store, this is what you're gonna do. They have two straps on this one. Remember from my other video, please wear both straps. So, you're gonna take this lower strap and bring this back. You're gonna take this upper strap, you're gonna bring it up. You're gonna make sure that this is fitting under your chin slightly you have a seal on both sides and your nose is sealed well. It should suck to breathe through this if you're wearing it right, okay? Now, this is how we're wearing the mask right. You saw the other video about it. Now we're gonna go about taking it off. I'm also gonna do a quick video on how to take it off when you're getting in your car, but it's very similar to home. You're gonna grab that bottle of hand sanitizer once again. You're gonna put some pumps in that hand. You're gonna let that go in, go around the fingers. Then, again, we're going to come with our finger, and we're going to come in here, and we're going to get both of these. Now, when this comes off, I don't want this portion of the mask hitting me or anything I have, because in theory we're treating the front of this mask as dirty. So you're going to come over, and you're going to pull that off. Go ahead and put that down. Now remember, we just dealt with something dirty, so we're gonna grab our hand sanitizer again. Don't grab it like this, just grab the pump. Grab our hand sanitizer again, and go crazy. Now I didn't talk about it in the other video, but after we've done this, you're now gonna take this fancy mask, and whether you use 70% alcohol, or whatever the CDC guidelines are, you're gonna wipe down your mask with that 70% alcohol. Okay, so wipe it down. If you want, put it in the sun. Clean the straps. Make sure you're happy. Don't go too crazy on this side because it'll really be rough if you try to breathe through that. Let your mask dry out. Guess what? I just touched a dirty mask. So what do I have to do now? I have to go wash my hands or grab my hand sanitizer and go again. So, if you've learned anything, it's gonna be you're using a lot of hand sanitizer when you're cleaning, taking on, and taking off your mask. All right, having fun here, I want to go over some gloves now. There are vinyl gloves, 
latex gloves and nitrile gloves. Whichever gloves you use, they're a little different. Vinyl gloves can be a little more difficult to use and also generally tend to rip more. Latex gloves do work well, but for those of you people allergic to latex, not a good idea to have. And nitrile are really the best of both worlds. They are not latex, so they're not going to cause allergies, and they're a little better quality than the vinyls. So today, how are you going to put on your gloves? Really easy to put on gloves, taken off, we'll go over in a minute, a little harder, if you're doing it the right way. So, I know people are going to laugh, but I'm going to say it anyway. We're looking at the glove. This is a thumb. It almost looks like a thumb. It's stuck out to the side. And this is the shortest one, your fifth finger. So when you're going to put your hand, please line it up. So we're going to line it up. We're going to get our hand in. Other glove. Line it up, hand in. Some people want to be super cool, blowing their gloves or blowing the glove before they get them in. All it does is put spit in your gloves. Don't do it. If you want, you can take the glove, roll it up, and try to get some air in it, but anyway, your hands are going to go. Okay, the most, not really, everything I say is really important, but the most important thing of what I'm going to do on the video today is this, taking off your gloves. If you take off your gloves right, you will have no problems with contamination. If you take them off wrong, you might as well have licked the floor of the grocery store. Okay, if that wasn't vivid enough for you, I don't know how to say it. You're going to take one of your hands, dominant hand, you're going to grab this area of the glove, okay? It's right where your thumb meets about your wrist. Not too far, because here you're going to get dirty. You're going to reach right about here. You're, with your dominant hand, you're going to pinch. Okay? You're going to start pulling inside out with that glove. You're then going to use your non-dominant hand. And you're going to pinch in the same place. You are then going to pull your arms apart. And you have now pulled both gloves inside out. I can now take this glove and toss it and not be contaminated and have to use my fancy, fancy, I don't even know what the heck this is called. And I won't have to use my fancy, still don't know what it's called. And I won't have to use my fancy hand sanitizer if I do it this way. All I do is toss my gloves in the garbage, not on the street, or in the parking lot, in the garbage, okay? And then you won't have to use this. If you take off your gloves any other way, one glove at a time, touching your hands, touching your wrists, please make sure you wash your hands or use your hand sanitizer. So, reason why I'm in this fancy suit, you'll see in about two videos from now. So that means you have to remember to subscribe, like, and follow me. Also follow me on Instagram because I'll be telling you when the new videos drop. Make sure if you are following me on YouTube, you put an alert so you know when a new videos come. Remember with COVID-19, you're going to stop if you feel sick, have a fever. Please stay at home because all you can do is actually spread it. If there's an issue, please call your doctor. Follow all CDC and local guidelines. And remember, stay six feet away from everyone and try to wear your mask whenever you're out in public. This is a serious problem. If you're young and you feel it may not affect you, that's great. But it can also affect your parents, grandparents, or other loved ones. And that's something we don't need. Stay safe. I'll see you guys later.